The expropriation of a stretch of railroad line by the Mexican government is a sign of a shift towards a more interventionist and populist economic policy that could deter foreign investment and trade. President López Obrador has justified the takeover as a matter of public interest, as he plans to use the rail line to connect the Pacific and Gulf Coasts and create an interoceanic corridor for development. However, the move has surprised and alarmed the private company that operated the line, Grupo Mexico Transportes, which is owned by one of the richest men in Mexico, German Laria. The company said it was analyzing the legal implications of the seizure, which was carried out by Marines at dawn. This is not the first time that López Obrador has clashed with private businesses over his ambitious infrastructure projects. Earlier this year, he also seized a Caribbean port owned by an Alabama company, Vulcan Materials, to use it for his pet project, the Maya Train, a tourist railway that will loop around the Yucatan Peninsula. The port seizure drew criticism from the U. State Department, which expressed concern about the fair treatment of American companies in Mexico and the impact on future investments. López Obrador's expropriations reflect his nationalist and populist vision of economic development, which prioritizes state control over strategic sectors and public works over private interests. He has also reversed some of the previous administration's reforms that opened up the energy sector to foreign and private investment and has vowed to revive the state-owned oil company Pemex and the national electricity utility CFE. His critics argue that his policies are undermining Mexico's competitiveness and attractiveness as a destination for foreign capital and trade, especially in the context of the USMCA trade agreement with the EU and Canada. They also warn that his actions could trigger legal disputes and compensation claims from affected companies. López Obrador's supporters, on the other hand, defend his expropriations as a way of reclaiming national sovereignty and promoting social justice. They claim that he is fulfilling his campaign promises to fight corruption and inequality, and to bring development to impoverished regions of Mexico. They also point out that he has popular backing for his projects, as he has consulted with local communities through referendums and surveys. The expropriation of the railroad line is thus a symbol of López Obrador's economic policy, which seeks to challenge the status quo and reshape Mexico's development model according to his vision. However, this policy also entails risks and costs that could affect Mexico's economic performance and relations with its trading partners.